This is the second part of the compass and ruler constructions lesson. In this video, you will be constructing the perpendicular bisector of a segment and the bisector of a given angle. Recall that in your first quarter lessons, we know that the perpendicular bisector of a segment is a line, ray, or segment that divides the segment into two congruent segments and is perpendicular to it. Moreover, the angle bisector of an angle is a line, ray, or segment that divides a given angle into two congruent angles. So let us get started and construct the perpendicular bisector of the given segment AB. So we take our compass and set our compass settings in a radius which is more than half of the segment. We use that to create an arc from both A and B as centers. Next, we locate the point of intersection between these two arcs and let us name them point I and point J. Next, we use a straight edge to connect segment IJ. We need to be very precise with this as much as we can. And now we have segment IJ, the perpendicular bisector of segment AB. Now we would like to create the perpendicular bisector of a segment using our GeoGebra app. So first, let's create the segment which we would like to bisect. We can use the segment tool and then create two points on the graphics window of our app. So we have segment AB, and again, we would like to create the perpendicular bisector of this segment AB. To do that, we would need to create a point using the point tool, which is more than half of AB. So let's say that that is point C, and obviously, point C is more than halfway of AB. Now we next use the compass tool to create a circle which center is at A and with radius at AC. We use the same compass tool to create a circle with the same radius AC, but now the center is at B. We find the points of intersection between these two circles by using the intersect tool. Uh, just click the two circles and then you would have E and D. And now we would like to connect those two points using a segment. So just click E and D. And then now we have segment ED, which is the perpendicular bisector of segment AB. If you would like to validate if it indeed it is perpendicular, let us create it or let us measure the angles involved. So first we would like to create the point of intersection between the two segments so that is point F and then let's use the angle um, tool click B F and E and it says it's 90 degrees so of course these are vertical so it measures 90 degrees 90 degrees and 90 degrees now we would like to check if it indeed bisects a B so we can do that by measuring a F and then FB later on. So we can use the segment tool, A, F, and then F, B. And as you notice, A, F measures 6.14 units and F, B also measures 6.14 units. Thus, we can rightfully conclude that E, D is the perpendicular bisector of segment A, B. Now we are also going to construct the angle bisector of a given angle. So let's say we have angle ABC. We would like to determine a radius in our compass and draw an arc that will intersect both rays of angle ABC. Let's name those points of intersection between the arc and the rays F and G. Now you may choose the same radius to draw another arc with point G and point F as the center, or you may have another one. What's important is what you use to draw the arc from center F and center G is the same. 
So let's get the point of intersection between those two arcs and let's name that point N. Lastly, we construct ray BN, which is now the angle bisector of the given angle ABC. Now we are going to use the GeoGebra application to construct the angle bisector of a given angle. So first, let's construct the given angle. We can use the two ray or the ray tool to construct two rays that will make the sides of our given angle. So we have here angle CAB and we are going to construct its angle bisector. So to do that, we would like to use the compass tool to create a circle with center A and let's say we would like to use the radius of the length AB. And then let us determine the point of intersection between AC and this arc. So we can use the intersect tool for that. Click the circle and then the ray. So the point of intersection is point D. Now, as we did in the um, classical construction, we can also choose to have the same radius for the next step. So I'll be using that. So I'll use the compass tool and then determine my radius. So radius is still the length of AB. And now the center is first at D. I'm going to repeat the same process. So I'm going to use the compass tool click on AB to determine the radius and then this time my center is at B okay and then I would like to get the point of intersection between these two circles that we've drawn so click on both of them and you have point E lastly let's draw the ray from F to E and that is the angle bisector of our given angle. If you would like to check if it indeed bisects the given angle, you can use the angle tool. So click on angle and then C, F, E. So it measures 13.65 degrees. And let's check on angle E, F, B. So let's click the angle tool as well and click on points E, F, B. So as you see, it also measures 13.65 degrees. So we have successfully um, completed the construction of your angle bisector. So again, before I end this video, I would like to acknowledge the immense help of the developers of the GeoGebra software and the applications that you have in your phones and in your mobile devices. They've been a great help to complete this video. So for more practice exercises, you may want to do the ones that are on 6.1.2 of your student learning guides under our course, Math for with Mamsol. Enjoy constructing!